Hey, this is Ari. And in this video, I want to share a little clip from a recent podcast I did with world renowned dental expert and educator of holistic dentists, Dr. Judson Wall, on his top hacks for dental health, oral health, gum health, periodontal health, and how to prevent and treat those kinds of issues. Uh, this is something that I think plagues a huge amount of people and is a hidden cause and contributor to a whole lot of problems, including chronic fatigue. So I strongly encourage you to get your oral health taken care of and dialed in and optimized, get those habits and those routines dialed in and listen to this clip and also click the link below this video to check out the full podcast. There is a ton of value in there. So enjoy. most Americans are deficient in iodine. Any cell that needs to excrete something has to have iodine. Uh, if you look at the Japanese, uh, they typically will ingest about between six and 50 grams of seaweed a day. It's just part of their diet. In that seaweed, they're getting at least, you know, 12 to 25 milligrams not micrograms, milligrams of iodine a day. US RDA of iodine is 160 micrograms. Do you, do you have any concern around iodine toxicity? I, I have a good friend who's kind of uh, a specialist in this area, and he is pretty convinced that there's a very narrow range of optimal for iodine intake, and that exceeding that amount can contribute to uh, Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. Yeah, I'd like to see that in the literature, but I have not. Okay. So I, again, I'm a published literature guy and I've seen plenty of literature showing the opposite mm -hmm. where you um, basically flood the, the body with iodine. It's water soluble. It's not like it's a fat soluble vitamin that's gonna be stored in the fat. Mm -hmm. So in the excess, you pee out. Okay. So uh, I have yet to see any literature showing that um, a very safe dose, like 25 milligrams of iodine, which many uh, holistic physicians recommend, um, will contribute or make worse a Hashimoto's or any type of thyroiditis that's going on. But the opposite is certainly true. There are so many people that are iodine deficient. Mm -hmm. Look at all of the, the hypothyroid women in particular. There are, you know, at least in Utah, along the Wasatch Front, it's as common as COVID right wow. now. It's crazy. Why, why do you uh, think it's so common there? Well, I, and not just here. I have colleagues across the nation that report the same thing. Mm -hmm. Thyroid issues are ubiquitous. I think one of the biggest reasons is because of uh, fluoridation of the water, mm -hmm. fluoride in uh, pesticides. We're just inundated with fluoride. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that happens, I'll show this up on the screen here, is when you've got your thyroid hormones, T3 and T4, uh, it's called T3 because it's got three binding sites occupied, supposed to be occupied by iodine, and T4, the same, four binding sites. Well, iodine is a member of the, the halide family, halogens, and unfortunately, it's the slowest, biggest, fattest, uh, least reactive of all of that family. But if you'll notice on that uh, periodic table, fluoride is at the top. It's the fastest, most reactive, and most dangerous of all of those elements. Hey, this is Ari. And if you enjoyed this little clip, I highly recommend checking out the full length podcast by clicking the link down below this video in the description. Check it out. You're going to learn a ton more valuable information. Also, as always, I want to mention at the Energy Blueprint, we offer a ton of solutions to help you increase your energy. And as a side effect, help you prevent disease, dramatically improve your brain function, your mood, combating anxiety and depression, increasing your resilience to stress, and increasing your longevity. 
all nice bonuses to strategies designed to massively increase your mitochondrial function and your energy levels. And we've got a whole suite of products, uh, online info products that guide you on strategies to optimize your lifestyle and nutrition habits. Uh, we've got an eat for energy course. We've got a brain course. We've got an advanced fat loss strategies course. We've got a breathing for energy course, which I highly, highly recommend. Uh, people just absolutely rave about that one in particular. And we've got a whole suite of supplements, uh, mitochondrial formula, a brain formula, energy essentials and superfoods, which is our comprehensive multivitamin and multimineral and superfoods formula and much, much more actually. Uh, we've got as of this moment in time, uh, depending on when you're watching this, but as of this moment I'm recording it, I've got an uh, amazing new anti-aging longevity formula on the way and an incredible new sleep formula that will be coming out in the next few weeks. Thank you for watching this. Again, full length uh, link to the full length podcast is down below and uh, check out the energyblueprint.com for our whole suite of products that can help you dramatically transform your energy levels. Talk to you soon.